Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, this is one of those days where we had decent temperatures, no rain, and yet I didn't go fishing. Had to knock out some stuff around here at the house. It's leaf blowing and leaf mulching season here in East Tennessee, and I had to get after it today. Thankfully, I had my dog over here, Daphne the dog, supervising me, mulching leaves, although I think she's more of a hindrance than a help. For some reason, if I'm riding something that has tires, it don't matter if it's a lawnmower or an electric bike, that dog tries to eat the tires. I don't know why she does it, but she does every time. She may have the rabies or something, I don't know. I keep telling her, I'm gonna take her back to the pound and tell them they gave me a defective dog, but she's kind of cute. That's the only reason she's sticking around. Anyway though, wanted to come on here, do one of my world famous vlog videos for the handful of yous that watch my videos this time of year and it's literally a handful i don't know why it is but man i fish year round i post videos year round for whatever reason i am pegged as a seasonal channel on youtube whatever i peek at in the summer months you can bet your last dollar by the time we hit december january february my view is going to be down 75 80 percent like clockwork I don't know why that is. Other fishing channels do just fine in the winter. Mine don't. It just is what it is. But anyway, I'm still out here fishing. So for those of you, again, you stick with me. I appreciate you. Ain't many of you, but I like every single one of you. I thought I'd come on here doing these vlog videos, tell you some things that I've done, tell you some things that I'm going to be doing, and show you a couple new items here that I've gotten. So anyway, what I've been doing is fishing, y'all. I've been after some catfish, and boy, have I been getting some good ones lately. I got some videos coming up here. You're gonna be seeing them. Kind of been, just keeping it real with you, kind of been sitting on these videos a little bit, waiting to post them, because I've been catching these fish off the same spot. This is a big fish spot right now. I went out, got one of my biggest, if not the biggest flathead of the year. Followed that up on a different trip, caught what I think is my biggest blue cat of the year. Once I actually got to fish, I did something so stupid that day. Oh my gosh. Have you ever, if y'all out there, maybe you can relate. Have you ever done something so stupid that you can't even figure out how you done it? <laughs> I had one of those situations. I lost an hour and a half of fishing time because it was so stupid. You're gonna see it. You'll see that in an upcoming video. But nevertheless, that spot man biggest flathead of the year biggest blue of the year i've caught some more big fish on there so i just been i just been going out there and just pounding the spot but i know as soon as i post the first video catching big fish people going to recognize the background you know they're going to be out there hitting it and so i thought i'm going to wait to post that first video until i go down to florida spoiler alert i got another trip plan but i'll wait and then they'll be out there pounding that catfish spot well, I'm down there catching sharks in Florida. So that's kind of why I've been holding off on posting any more catfish videos. But I promise you, for the five of you that still watch, they're coming. Now, I don't know what channel I'm posting them on. Like I said, this channel that you're watching now, regular kite catfish channel, views go down the toilet this time of year. But I started a second channel a few months ago. It was just gonna be shorts and highlight clips. That channel has done really well. Again, at a time when it should be going down for me, that channel is going up. So kind of thinking about maybe just posting my newer videos that I'm filming in the winter months that's not gonna do any good on this channel, just sticking them on that channel to help it grow through the winter months. So I don't know, but my regular viewers, again, there's five or six of you. You're already subscribed to the other channel anyway. So if you see the videos pop up, whether it's this channel or the other, you'll know to click. So anyway, everybody else, they're not going to watch anyway, so it don't matter what channel I posted on. But uh, I hinted around there, got a big trip planned, y'all. So Elias with Elias V Fishing, one of my favorite YouTubers, somebody I've become good friends with, he invited me down to fish in Florida with him. Every year he goes down to the Florida Keys. He has a timeshare down there. Him and his wife go down for like three weeks. Well, this year there was a week that before their scheduled three-week trip it opened up and his wife couldn't get off work for it so he invited me down and i was like heck yes i'd love to go down to the florida keys 
try to catch me some sharks. So I'm heading down there next week with him. I've bought me a couple items here during the Black Friday sale. Um, I'll show you that. You know, Black Friday, a lot of good sales going on and stuff. I didn't really, nothing this year really leaped out at me. I was already going to buy those reels, so they were on sale. I took advantage of it, but otherwise, I didn't really get anything. But I did get me a couple reels. I also got this bike here. This is a, a Hovsko. Hovsko.com is where you find these bikes. But this is the HOV Alpha model. They sent me this bike. And so that's another kind of big item I got here during the holiday, uh, holiday rush here. So what I'm going to do for part of this video is hop on this bike we're going to put it to the daphne test daphne the dog over here again she is a tire eat yeah i'm talking about you dog she's a tire eating dog we're gonna hop on this bike we're gonna see if she can knock me off of it basically we'll put it to a heel test we'll put it to a speed test this bike this hov alpha it has a torque sensor in the motor it's got a 750 watt motor here it's got a, something called a torque sensor in there. I'm no bicycle engineer, don't ask me what it is, but allegedly it helps with going up hills, helps you maintain your speed as you're going up inclines, which has been an issue with some of the other electric bikes that I have had. So I'm curious to see how this one does. Another cool feature about this bike, in the battery compartment here, the lithium battery that powers this bike has a really cool light feature. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm kind of waiting for it to get dark here. So you're gonna see it when I see it. Well, I think that could be really cool for bank fishing. The battery, the lithium battery in there doubles as a light. I'll hop on this bike here in a minute. First though, I'll show you these reels. This is my only Black Friday haul. Y'all, these were 15% uh, off. These are Daiwa a Seagate. This is the size 50. I had some 35s that I were using for catfishing um, last year, year before. Really good reels, but I wanted a bigger size than what I had for the sharks. I needed some more line capacity. So again, those are the size 50s. I've got two of them here for my uh, Catfish Sumo Elite 150 rods. That's what I'm going to take with me down there to do the shark fishing with those elite 150s that's what i took last year when i went to florida and i caught those black tips and they handled them really well now i think down there in the keys i've got some chance to get some significantly what the heck is that? that's a hawk or something man perfect timing for that to come through and interrupt me <laughs> it's a big bird but anyway i was down there in florida last year took those my uh, elite 150 rods and the smaller reels got them black tips they were a lot of fun but i think going down to the keys i'm gonna have a chance to get some much bigger sharks and while i'm there i'm gonna try to do a live stream y'all now i know for my regular viewers i said on the texas trip that was probably gonna be my last live stream of the year because again views drop there's not that many people in the live stream audience this time of year but if i've got cell phone service down there I'm gonna try to go live at least one day because I think it would be pretty badass to hook into a big shark on a kayak in front of a live audience. I just think it'd be cool. So I'm gonna try to do it. They may be only 12 of you watching, but by gosh, I'm gonna try to do it. So be on the lookout for that. Again, I have no idea. I've never been to the Florida Keys, so I have no idea what cell phone service is like. It may not even be possible, but if it is, I'm planning on doing it. So anyway, I think I've probably covered most everything that I was going to cover. Um, on my second channel, for those of you who care, I have built me a propane heater mount. I'm going to film a separate video for that. Again, that will definitely be on the second channel. That, that video would get 18 views on my main channel. I don't care if it gets 18 views on the other one. So I'm going to make a separate video for that because the last two or three years, I have taken a big 20-pound propane tank and a sit on top heater in the kayak with me which is big it's bulky it's heavy keeps you warm but it takes up a lot of space i got me a smaller heater actually got it la the heater last year never used it but this year i've built me a mount to install it on the kayak so i think it's gonna be pretty cool you'll be seeing that on the second channel 
if that's something you're interested in. Not everybody's gonna care about that, but the ones who do, I think it's gonna be very beneficial. So anyway, let's get this dog over here. Old Daphne, the tire eating dog, my supervisor, my YouTube co-star. Hey, come over here. Come tell these people hi, would you? You the only reason I still get any views. People like you better than they like me. What are you, what are you running from? Usually, you see how she ran away from me like that when I went to pet her? She's done something. She's done something, y'all. She's guilty, and she knows it. This is how she does. I'll tell you, I'm gonna tell this little story on her right quick. I ain't nobody still watching this anyway. So, down at my parents, a week or so back, visiting. We've been trying to get her to do better down there because, you know, they're gonna babysit her if she'll learn to behave. Anyway, we'd had a good night down there. She had been good. My mom was like bragging on her stuff, how good she had been. And I said, don't jinx it. She's probably done something. You just don't know it yet. Well, we were leaving. My mom reaches down to pet her and she, and she, you know, lunges away like she's about to get hit for something. Well, my mom calls me on my way home. Dog had peed in the floor right in front of the refrigerator. We didn't know about it, but she knew she was in trouble for it. So anyway, she's apparently done something. I just haven't found out about it yet. There's probably a pile of poop in the house somewhere. Anyway. Let me, uh, let me get these rod and reels out of the way. I'll kind of, again, walk you through electric bike. This one here, it's got this electric display that you turn on, on off switch here. Lights up, you got your, this PAS is your pedal assist. Goes up to level five miles per hour, your odometer, battery. Throttle on this bike here is pretty cool. You control it with your thumb. You don't have to twist it like on the other models I've had. You can ride this bike like a normal bike if you want to. It's got Shimano gears, seven speeds. So uh, this is a good looking bike, man. This is the best looking bike that I've got. I love that green color. It's got the big 26 inch tires. So it's, no doubt it's gonna be a comfortable ride. All of these bikes with big tires make for a, a more comfortable ride. And supposedly, this thing's fast. It supposedly gets up to 28 miles per hour. So that's a, I'm telling you, if you ain't rode one of these electric bikes, once you get 20, 25 miles an hour, it's like evil Knievel, man. <laughs> you feel it. You feel it. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to hop on it, see how it does. Um, it supposedly gets up to 60 miles range, electric only, or 80 miles if you are pedaling with the, the motor there. We're not going to find that out tonight, obviously, but we will find out about speed. We'll see how it does on the hills. Once it gets dark, we'll try out that light feature, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, y'all, let me get on this thing here. We'll find that dog. She's over there at the fence line waiting on him, man. She is waiting to eat these tires. So let's get after it. Let's do it. Come with me. For those of you still left watching, let's go for a ride. Look at this dog, y'all. Look at her. She's already after these tires, man. You gonna get out of the way, dog? I'll run you over. I'm just gonna run her over is what I'm gonna do. That'll teach her one time. <laughs> Come on, dog. This is a comfortable ride. My yard's real bumpy. So I can tell you right now, the suspension in this thing feels pretty good. This dog ain't gonna feel good and I run her over though. Let's go down the hill, dog. Let's see what the speed can get up to going down the hill here. Woo! -hoo! It'll go faster than I want to go down that hill, I'll tell you that. Let's come back over here. Look at this dang dog, y'all. Look at that dog. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You animal. You're something else. Let's go up this hill. Let's start from, let's start from zero miles an hour going up this hill. I mean, I'm telling you folks, look at this. That's 11 miles an hour without me pedaling. That's pretty good. None of my other bikes have been able to go at those speeds. That was without me pedaling too. Let's try that again. Let's run this dog over first. Better get out of the way, dog.
Uh-huh. Yeah, we hear you. We hear you, dog. All right. Zero miles an hour. Hey, hush. We're filming something here, dog. You got to be quiet for the camera. Nobody wants to hear you. Let's try this again. Going up the hill. I'm going to pedal with it this time. Let's see what kind of speeds. Man, that's nice. Look at that. 13 miles an hour. Starting from zero going up my driveway. That's pretty dang good. Look at this dog though. Man, this dog. <laughs> she is an animal. You're an animal. You're an animal. You got the rabies, dog. Show them your leg, Daphne. Show them what happened the other day. You see that mark there on her leg? You won't turn around for nothing. But you, you're a crazy, dog. You're crazy. You're out of control. This dog's got the rabies, y'all. There's a, there's a road rash mark on her leg, though. The other day, I was riding one of the other bikes. I nailed her with it. <laughs> it tore the hide off of her as we were running. One of these days, me and her is both going to end up in the ER over these bicycles. But uh, anyway, y'all, first impression of the HOV Alpha, I like it. It's a comfortable ride through going through my bumpy yard. It's got some pretty good speed, especially, you know, going down the hills there. Really impressed though with just coming up my driveway, starting from zero miles an hour, dead stop. Coming up there does much better than any of the other bikes that I've had. So uh, pretty, pretty impressed with that. But again, you can learn about this model. They have the HOV Ranger. They got a few other models too. Hovsco.com. Again, big thanks to them for sending me this bike. I really appreciate it. These bikes, man, I've been getting them all summer long. They're a ton of fun. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be riding this one some more, chasing this old dog around the house here with it. Again, I guarantee you though, this dog, she's done something. There's some surprise for me in that house. I just don't know about it yet. But uh, anyway, y'all, probably be seeing me in Florida, hopefully, for my live stream audience. Rest of you, there'll be some catfish videos. I think the next video is a crappie video, then some catfish videos after that. So we got some, we got some videos coming in the pipeline. Anyway, y'all, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.